Hi everyone, well, I want to talk about why is, that, uh, why is better, using your slide stop or over the top? Empty mag, empty gun. Mag with snap cap in it. So, what's faster or better for me? Not for you, for me. This is all preference because both ways work. You have the slide stop, which is a little more difficult for me, or the rack. So I like the rack better, and here's a few reasons. When doing malfunctions, I'm doing tap rack, not tap smack, uh, tap slide release. Um, some of my pistols, the Savage 1917 and the CZ52 do not have slide releases. So automatically you can't do this. You have to do the over the top. Uh, so honestly, the over the top is what I think is the best because it works for everything. It doesn't just work for a gun with a slide release. It works for a gun without slide releases. It works for a gun with slide releases. It works for guns with only slide stops. Now, the other thing is, a gun with a slide stop might not have a last round hold open. So, you might not have a magazine release. You might have a slide stop but not a magazine release. Um, there are guns who have last round hold opens that don't have magazine releases, such as the PA-63, the Makarov PA-63, which is made by FEG in Hungary. It has a last round hold open, but not a mag release. So the best way for that would be a tab in a rack. Um, this particular gun, the PX9, made by Zagana, imported by SDS, does have a magazine release, and you can actually put it on left or right side. It also has a slide stop that can is or not a slide stop, a safety that's ambidextrous, but that's neither here nor there. This gun, the slide stop works very well. Uh, the slide release works very well, but still I would rather do tap rack. And the reason is, let's say I don't do the tap. Let's say I get that mag in, and it doesn't go in all the way. See how far it dropped in or dropped out? Let's see if I have a snap cap in there. Yes, my snap cap is still in the gun. If I just follow the same fundamentals as there's a malfunction, tap, rack, no matter how many times I do this, I'm always going to have that round. And that's how I feel. If I use this, for one, I'm not strong enough to push it down without turning my gun away from the target. So if I'm in the fret, I have to actually turn slightly to hit it rather than, okay, here's the perfect example. Or, because how I actually carry and shoot, I use the car stance. Ah. 
So I'm going to bring in closer. So I'm in here. Tap. Rack. So regardless, the for me, the um, best light is over the top. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you don't uh, take this as meaning this is the best way for everyone. It's not. Some people can do the magazine release and those guys go ahead and do it. I mean, if that's the way you do it, do it. But for me, tap rack, tap rack. It's just much easier to remember, get that mag in, rack it, than it is to put mag in, release it. And I guess that's just how you're trained. Um, and yeah, so thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys enjoy. Have a good day.